So, here we are, some gameplay of Wake Island to show you all. This is actually taken from the latest trailer that DICE just released earlier today, and it wasn't quite your conventional Battlefield 5 trailer. Certainly wasn't anything like the reveal trailer, that's for sure. It had all of the visuals popping off, the sort of things that you expect, but it was modelled after some of the Battlefront 2 trailers. It had this voiceover that was explaining some of the new features to anyone who was watching it. A lot of the info that we've covered in previous videos was then covered in this trailer, but for the sake of making sure everybody knows what's happening with Wake Island, let's quickly blast through what DICE said. This new rendition of Wake Island is building on the legacy of previous versions, and it's going to deliver air, land and sea combat in a way that DICE could have only dreamed of back in the days of 1942. The Battlefield 5 map is twice the size of the version that was shipped in Battlefield 1942, and that's going to help to improve the pacing in matches here in Battlefield 5. The extra space that's been populated by rock formations and vegetation, that's going to block lines of sight and provide more cover for infantry as well. This expanded map with its flatter topography, there are less hills and slopes in this version of Wake Island. It makes the map perfect for ground vehicle gameplay as well. Amphibious tanks and boats, they're going to spawn on the ground here on Wake Island, giving you more options as a player to get around the map. And then two different game modes that they highlighted in the trailer. The breakthrough game mode, that's going to simulate the invasion of the island, similar to Iwo Jima and Pacific Storm, the other two Pacific maps. It's going to give you all-out warfare in smaller sectors, concentrating the action and bringing more chaotic moments more often. And then the Conquest version, using the Conquest Assault layout, so the defenders of the island will have all of the flags capped in their favour when you start off, and then the attackers, they have to come on and capture all the different flags. It gives you 64 player access to the entire map from the get-go. Outside of that information, there's really not that much more I can say at the moment. What I can say is that right at the end of this trailer, as is sort of becoming Battlefield tradition, DICE teased the next trailer, which is the fourth Pacific map, the jungle location, basically confirming all of those rumours that a fourth map was coming for the Pacific Theatre. Very likely we're going to see that in the new year. So, there you go. That's Wake Island. I'm going to be back on Sunday. I'm going to take Saturday off, but on Sunday I'm going to post a video that gives lots of different examples into how the new TTK is not achieving what it's set out to achieve and how DICE can remedy the situation from my point of view. So, look out for that video if you are interested. But until then, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.